a small Australian studio got the daunting task of turning one of Games Workshop's most popular board games into a fully digital affair. Does Warhammer Underworlds Online bring with it the same fun and strategic gameplay as its tabletop counterpart? Or is this grand alliance better left disbanded? Find out in our review. Warhammer Underworlds Online is based off one of Games Workshop's most popular specialist games, Warhammer Underworlds, or as people called it for months, Shadespire, which, fun fact, was the name of the season slash theme of the box itself, not the actual game. The actual game was called Warhammer Underworlds. Warhammer Underworlds Online is a fully one-to-one -one recreation of its tabletop version. For those unfamiliar with Warhammer Underworlds, it's part strategic war game and part deck building board game. Underworlds Online starts out by you and your opponent selecting one of six unique warbands and then choosing one of four unique hex-based maps that get connected together to form a bigger battlefield. You and your opponent then take turns placing up to five objectives. Then you place your units and begin the match. The goal is to gather glory points, and whoever has the most glory points at the end of the match wins. You obtain these points by killing enemy units and meeting certain requirements from cards in your hand from your objective deck. The game only lasts three rounds, with four phases in each round, meaning for the entire game, you and your opponent can only do four actions per turn each round. At each activation phase, you can move, attack, guard, or charge. Models can only move once per round, and if you charge, you get to move and attack, but the unit can no longer do anything else that round. Activating guard is pretty useful, because it increases your statistics if you need an enemy to miss an attack so you can stay on an objective. The extremely limited amount of actions you get each game make each move and attack you make equally as important as the next. You attack and defend by using the game's unique set of dice, to which there are attack dice and defense dice. So there is an element of RNG. You could execute the perfect tactical strategy and still lose games to terrible rolls. It can happen in any dice game, and it's just as devastating in Warhammer Underworlds Online. I can't tell you how many games I lost due to bad dice rolls. But like I mentioned before, that's just how any dice-related game is. Warhammer Underworlds features six different factions slash teams to play as. The game refers to them as Warbands. You have Steelheart's Champions, Malgor's Fiends, Iron Skull's Boys, Sepulchral Guard, the Farsiders, and Spikeclaw's Swarm. Each Warband has its strength and weaknesses, as well as their own unique style of play. For example, Iron Skull's boys excel at invading enemy territory and killing your units. While the Sepulchral Guard focus on staying on top of objectives. Each warband also features two different card decks, a power deck and an objective deck. Some of these cards do interesting and immediate things, like moving a model, or blocking hexes from being landed on, and some even destroy objectives. Upgrade cards are also playable at the cost of glory points. You can upgrade units in your warband to have more health, speed, or even give them a unique ability, like counterattack. Each warband has its own unique cards specific to that faction, but there are also universal cards that any warband can use. The cards add an extra layer to the already competitive game's mechanics, and since the library of cards is a lot smaller than something like Magic the Gathering or Hearthstone, it makes the game more balanced. 
Warhammer Underworlds may look complicated, and it is, but the game offers an extensive tutorial to show you the ropes, and is divided into three lessons that you can go back and play again if you're still unclear on something. Warhammer Underworlds Online is able to convey all of this information in a relatively organized manner. The UI is clean and simple to read. You always know what round and phase you're in, what units have activated, how many wounds they have, if they're inspired, etc. You can also click on models to see their upgrades, as well as both players' discard piles at any time. Games are relatively short, taking about 15 to 20 minutes, and that's what makes Warhammer Underworlds Online really addictive. You'll play a match, tweak your deck a little, and go again, repeating this until you've realized you've been playing for three hours. It's a great sign in a video game when you're having fun and lose track of time. You can play online with real players or against AI bots. The game features a ranked mode as well as a casual mode for online play. But do be aware, if you're new to Warhammer Underworlds in general, I highly suggest playing against bots for the first few hours, so you get a hang of the mechanics and how your warband plays. Online games were fairly seamless, with no lag issues. I occasionally ran into some rage quitters, but that's expected in any online game. It's worth to mention that finding an online match can take upwards of 5 minutes, which is a bit of a wait. However, that's not any fault of the devs or the game itself, but its small pool of players currently online, which hopefully will increase after this review. Playing with friends is simple enough through Steam, and I had no issues. The game offers rewards for casual and ranked matches as well, such as cosmetic changes to your warband, titles, and unique deck pictures. But perhaps the most impressive thing is that there are no microtransaction loot boxes present in any form. These rewards are faction specific and are not random loot boxes. The environment and animations are fantastic. Each warband has their own unique looks and movement that complement their theme. My favorite has to be the undead, that twitch erratically and enter the map crawling out of the ground. My only critique is that I wish some of the map backdrops were different. While the four hex maps do spot a similar yet different look, it would be nice to have the area surrounding them change up to a forest, caves, etc instead of the grim castle theme you get throughout every match. While I didn't encounter a huge amount of visual or game-breaking bugs in my review, I did however encounter a lot of movement bugs, such as not being able to move onto a hex that is clearly unoccupied. And also, in some cases, if I used an ability to move multiple models, if I clicked on the model after the fact to see what its stats were, I was forced to move it even though I just wanted to check its abilities or whatnot. I'm not sure if this was a bug, but it was a little annoying at times. Taking an existing physical board game and recreating it digitally can be a great challenge, but the team over at Steel Sky Productions was able to take Warhammer Underworlds Online and create a one-to-one -one replica of its tabletop counterpart near perfectly. The game starts with six core warbands, a lot of unique cards to try out, and even promises future paid DLC that will include additional warbands. I think Games Workshop has about 20 different warbands currently on the market. There's a lot of playtime here. Even playing with bots can be fun and stimulating. If you're a fan of turn-based competitive games, you really should pick up Warhammer Underworlds Online. You'll be glad you did. For more video reviews and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com.